So in my last video, I had mentioned how I was excited about the reveal trailer of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 at E3. However, I had also mentioned my excitement for the Smash Ultimate trailer of Kazuya from Tekken getting in his Challenger Pack 10. So, with one slot left for Fighters Pass 2, I wanted to talk about who might be left and which character might take the slot for Challenger Pack 11. I want to make the choices in this video characters who will make sense. Since this is the final fighter of Fighters Pass 2, it would only make sense to have the fighters be popular choices. So with that, let's get into it. To start us off strong, one character who is highly anticipated is Crash Bandicoot from the game series of the same name. Crash Bandicoot is an older mascot from Gaming Old, and just had his fourth game come out just recently, so he's definitely in the running to make it in. Now, I'm not much of a Crash fan myself, but I understand that he's popular, and he has a good history with Nintendo, so I could definitely see it as a possibility. Now, I won't go much into this character since I know if I try and say something about him that I don't know, Crash fans will get upset. So I'll just say he's definitely a possibility, but I won't hold my breath for him. I'll be happy for his fans though. I got a few friends who are die-hard Crash fans, so I'll be happy for them if Crash gets in. In terms of his chances, I'd say he's got about a 6.5 out of 10. He's definitely a Fighters Pass finisher, but he's still not as popular, right now at least, than some of the other characters on this list. As a want score though, he's like a 3 out of 10. He's not a bad choice, but I'm not a Crash fan. Another character that I see highly requested is Master Chief from Halo. Now, I love Halo, and I think it's a wonderful franchise. I've played Halo with my family a lot, and I've seen my brother play the story mode. Now, I'm not much of a first person shooter kind of guy, so I've never really played the story of Halo. However, I will play those types of games with my family, like Halo and Call of Duty, in multiplayer or zombies. In terms of popularity, Master Chief is definitely up there, and I know many rabid Halo fans who want him in the game. Now me personally, I could take it or leave it, but I do think he is a better choice than Doom Guy. I only say this because I feel like Doom Guy is just just too violent for Smash. At least with other M-rated characters, they can be toned down and still retain their whole personality and identity. But with Doom Guy, his whole shtick is that he's a violent marine who rips demons apart with his bare hands. Take that away and he's just Master Chief. Now, having said that, Master Chief has his own set of complications. We already have a Microsoft rep with Steve, and we've never really seen two people from one third party developer get into the same Fighters Pass yet. All of the characters from Fighters Pass 1 were characters from different franchises, except for the Nintendo characters which I'm not counting, since Nintendo owns them. And the same holds true with Fighters Pass 2 so far. If Master Chief does make it in though, I won't be upset. I think he's cool, although there are other characters I'd enjoy more than him. Now with his chances of getting in, I gave him about a 5 out of 10. He definitely has a shot without the problem of Steve making it in first, but because of that fan rule, I can't say for sure whether or not he'll actually make it or not. In terms of a want score, I gave him about a 4 out of 10. I definitely prefer him over Crash, but not so much that I'd want him over some of the other characters on this list. So this one's going to be a 2-in-1, but I guess you can count it as a new Sonic rep in general, but I would like to see either Dr. Eggman or Tails from the Sonic franchise. This one is definitely a viable option, since we haven't really seen a new Sega character in a while, so getting one of these characters would be amazing. Honestly, I'm surprised it's taken this long to get a new Sega character, or a second Sonic character for that matter. Eggman would give us another villain rep, but Tails would give us a character for Sonic, like Luigi is for Mario. Personally, I would enjoy Tails more, but I'm cool with either one. Now, if Eggman gets in, he could possibly be in one of his floating spheres and use the different abilities he's had from across the Sonic franchise. Tails could definitely be unique enough to be a new character, but he's also similar enough to Sonic to be a sort of semi-clone. Regardless, it would be cool to see Tails. So with that, my score for their chances is a 7 out of 10. Because we haven't seen a new Sega character in a while, I give him a decent enough chance of getting in. As for a want score, Eggman gets a 6 out of 10, and Tails gets an 8 out of 10. I'd be okay with Eggman, but I'm a much bigger Tails fan, so I'd much I'd rather see him get in, to be honest. The next person on my list that I have seen a lot of people talk about is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. This is one of my favorite choices, because Kingdom Hearts is one of my favorite games. I'd love to see Sora in Smash. However, one thing holding him back is the possibility of not having more than one company in a single Fighters Pass. Now, I don't think him being partially owned by Disney is holding him back in any way. Disney could easily say yes, and they could just include only Kingdom Hearts original content into Smash. I don't think that having Sora means that we have to put Disney characters into Smash, because if that happens, that means that opens up the floodgates for 
other movie properties to get into Smash, and I don't think that's what Nintendo wants. Kingdom Hearts is an amazing game with great music and tons of potential spirits and content for Smash. But again, I don't think we are going to get anything from Kingdom Hearts that isn't Kingdom Hearts original. For spirits though, I can see them using characters from Organization 13 as spirits. Of course, you can't forget Riku, Kairi, and Roxas as potential spirits as well. As for Sora himself, he has a lot of potential for an amazing moveset, great music, and an incredible stage. As for what stage he could get, I say either Destiny Island, Twilight Town, or the King of Hearts itself as a stage, but I'd be willing to bet the latter is the best option. They could even give him costumes based off of his different appearances throughout the Kingdom Hearts franchise. There is a lot of potential for Sora. If they really wanted to go crazy, they could make Roxas a skin for Sora. Sora also has a great potential moveset thanks to his spells he can cast and the different powers given to him from his Keyblades. Plus, seeing Sora fight alongside Cloud in this game and have them fight Sephiroth would be amazing. Now for a chance score, I think Sora gets about a 5 out of 10. It would be higher if it went for Sephiroth getting in first. However, like I said earlier, it's really just a 50-50 shot, because we can't really know if this is the actual standard that Nintendo is going for, or if it's just something that the fans made up to make sense of all of this. Regardless, my want score for Sora is a 9 out of 10. I would love to see Sora again. He's one of my most wanted characters to join Smash. However, my number 1 is coming up right now. So the final character on this list is Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Devil May Cry is one of my most favorite game franchises. It's not my number one favorite, but it's definitely up there. And if I were to see one character get in over anyone, I'd want to see Dante in here. The thing with Dante is, everyone says he has no chance of getting in, but I think his chances are higher than people think. Nintendo has a really good relationship with Capcom, so I really don't see anything holding him back. His game being rated M doesn't really hold him back either because we have both Snake and Bayonetta, who are both M-rated characters. People have also said he can't make it in because none of his games have been on a Nintendo console. However, recently, his first three games were put on the Switch, so there's nothing holding him back in those regards either. Honestly, the only thing that I think is holding Dante back at this point is the number of Capcom characters already in Smash. If we include Ken, despite him being an echo of Ryu, we already have three Capcom characters in the game, that being Ryu, Ken, and Mega Man. However, I think if any company deserves that many characters, it's Capcom, because they have the best relationship with Nintendo than any other company. Dante also has a moveset that is so easily implemented into a fighting game, given that he's already been in four other fighting game franchises. They would also have to choose which game they want to pull Dante from. If they were to choose which iteration of Dante to use, they're more than likely going to choose either Devil May Cry 3 or Devil May Cry 5. I personally prefer the moveset of Devil May Cry 3, but I wouldn't mind seeing Devil May Cry 5 Dante either. But if they really want to go nuts, they can choose one character to be the base costume and then give him alternate costumes based off of his other appearances throughout his games. His stage could either be the Temini Gru from Devil May Cry 3 or the actual Devil May Cry shop, and his symbol that they could use near his damage percentage could be the Devil May Cry shop logo from Devil May Cry 1, since I think it's the most iconic logo of the franchise. Regardless of what they do, Dante would be an amazing pick for Smash. Having said that, I think Dante has a chance score of 8 out of 10. I think Dante is a big enough choice to be Final Fighter material. He has a big following right now, and people were really disappointed when he wasn't the Final Fighter of the last Fighter's Pass, and Byleth shafted him. So I think this would be the perfect time to finally bring Dante in this match. As for a one score, he gets a 10 out of 10. He's my most wanted fighter right now. If we were to get anyone on this list, Dante would make me cry if he got in. Also, I would love to just see Dante and Bayonetta in the same game. So that's everyone on my list that I think most of the fandom wants in Smash, but who do you guys want to see over anybody? Was it someone on my list, or do you want somebody else? Let me know in the comments below. But until next time guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps me out. So with that, stay hyped, stay awesome, stay weird, and be nice to each other. CyberTech Werewolf, signing off.